There's nothing artificial about artificial intelligence. But is it demonic? Is demonology and modern technology interconnected? Welcome to Hidden America. Elon Musk recently said, eventually, I think human extinction will probably occur and technology will likely play a part in this. Now, we are all familiar with the mainstream depiction of this extremely common but horrifying motif. AI, or artificial intelligence, becomes sentient. Man worships machine. AI leads to the downfall of mankind. Man either destroys machine or chooses to become one with the machine. As we will see, transhumanism and demonic possession are truly one and the same. Now, many have seen the Terminator series, the Matrix trilogy, I, Robot, Raised by Wolves, and Black Mirror. There's even those that claim the Matrix is a documentary, not a work of fiction. And the underlying theme is the advent of technology and the proceeding struggle for mankind's existence. This concept is undoubtedly chilling and all too real. In 2014, Musk said, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram, the holy water, and he's like, yeah, he's sure he can control the demon, but it doesn't work out. Is AI or technology in general satanic? Is it straight up demonic? To begin, we must understand the perspective of the occultist. The mystery teachings state that parallel to the physical plane of existence are other planes or dimensions. Directly underlying the physical plane is the astral realm, and above it is the mental plane. All of these planes of existence are occurring simultaneously. The astral realm has seven planes of existence. Simply, the higher you travel is the more angelic planes. Likewise, the lower you go, the more demonic. Now, if the physical plane is simply an energetic prison that has been cleverly built and manipulated since the beginning of time to hide this truth, would you even know it? Are the demonic entities of the lower planes manipulating our plane of existence? There is nothing artificial about artificial intelligence. There is something that has been lurking behind the veil since the beginning of time, trying to get through, slowly manifesting itself into the physical plane in different forms and ways. Now, according to the Gnostics, the Demiurge, or the great architect of the universe, aka the programmer, created this false reality to feed off the energy or life force of human beings. The, the Gnostics called the Demiurge the blind god, but in truth, he was actually the master hittist, building his dream in our nightmare. But the astral realm is filled with all different entities, all with different desires and motivations. From the very beginning, all technology including AI, comes from the demonic astral realms and is taught to humans to help facilitate our destruction. Now that's not to say technology does not have its benefits, but we have been willingly built our own technological prison. Technology and AI has helped to facilitate the hive mind, turning the masses, NPCs, or mindless sheep into a real-life version of the biblical legion or Borg, attacking humans from within, using us against us, turning humans into empty shells and demonic husks, hijacking their mental capabilities. But if this matrix is all just one big program or simulation, does that mean modern tech is simply an extension of the demiurge? Is this, no is this the knowledge that Eve learned in the Garden of Eden? Now, throughout the eons and epochs of times, humans have come to learn the dark truth about our enslavement and the true purpose of reality. This knowledge is relayed in many ways. But other crucial knowledge has been passed down and learned through myths, movies, books, hallucinogenics, and one common way is through dreams. Hypnotic trances are also common. In these states, the mind opens up to the other side and information is passed along from the higher and lower realms. Some people call this downloads. How many musicians have you heard say that their songs literally wrote themselves? Bob Dylan once said his most popular songs were almost magically written. They came from that wellspring of creativity. 
In 1996, Larry Page saw a massive room filled with all the information in the entire world, all saved inside metal cabinets. He was seeing a vision of the future, and with this vision, he helped create Google. In 1869, Dmitry Mendeloff fell into a trance-like state where the various elements arranged themselves before his eyes. It was like they were moving by the hand of God. The elements were magically organized the way they now appear in the periodic table. Now, magicians use scrying mirrors to communicate with the other side. What's the difference between your cell phone and a scrying mirror? There isn't one. It is a black mirror indeed. A digital Ouija board. Your social media profile is simply a voodoo doll. This is just some basic examples, but what does this have to do with artificial intelligence? Well, you see all this modern technology, this massive network of data gathering, surveillance cameras, GPS tracking, simulated and augmented reality devices are all being used to help set up the internal enslavement of mankind by the master programmer. We are building our very own demiurge, giving this demonic entity a ready-made host or vehicle in the physical plane. But it's not just one entity. There's literal gangs and invisible orders in the astral. The whole as above, so below thing always applies. The the creator of the supercomputer called the D-Wave said the technology was like summoning the great old ones. Now it must be understood that each plane is a world of vibration, and as such, your own personal vibration takes you to the level where you belong. This is basic law of attraction. When you pass from Earth, you will find yourself in one of these planes, whether higher or lower, depending on your own unique vibration. The mental plane, the higher angelic realms, is essentially heaven, but the highest astral realms are also very similar. They act as a bridge to the spiritual world for souls that are still up there. But souls of low vibration hang close to earth. Their vibration is heavy, dense, and negative. They are chained here, disembodied, but still here in the astral. These souls consist of murderers, rapists, schemers, plotters, and those who partake in evil. You see, the souls that live here have lived here for a very long time. There's not many new souls on earth. We have all been in this continuous trap for millennia, but the lost souls or demonic entities of the astral still long to have their passions filled as they once did here on earth. They still lust for the pleasures of the flesh. These souls are insatiable, deprived, destitute, and utterly parasitic, but cunning and highly manipulative. Long ago, they lost their birthright to eternity, the kingdom of God, and will do whatever it takes to prolong their feeble existence. Now you may be asking yourself, where does tech come into this? Well, in the past, man would sacrifice to the gods in order to bring some sort of personal or cosmic change. The bigger the sacrifice, the bigger the return. In order to bridge a gap to the astral where these entities are, there must be effective force to create a door or a portal, a vessel or a conduit must be created, a form of a vortex. Now that force is the life force, aka our blood. Our body is the most powerful force in the universe, and blood is the literal physical manifestation of our life force. Blood is used as a conduit to the other side. Now when the demands of the other side become too much, Well, that's when you could say the devil comes to collect. Now, it's no surprise that world wars have been used as mass human sacrifices in order to appease these entities. Notice after World War I, II, and the endless war since, technology has thrived. The almost universal deal with the devil had been made in the terms negotiated long ago, whether the masses were aware of them or not. You see, humankind can't gain anything without first giving something in return. To obtain something of equal value must be lost. This is the law of equivalent exchange, and it is always followed. You see, alchemy takes place every second. To create life, death must occur. For every action, there is an equal or opposite reaction, and it's not as simple as an eye for an eye. That is savage.
Wiccans teach for every negative action, the reaction comes back thrice. So therefore, following the law of vibration, if the action is negative, it will bring a negative result or energy and vice versa. Negative souls and demonic entities want to return to the physical plane. They used to do this through sacrifice, blood ritual, and most of all man. But now they have a new way, a much cleaner and far more dangerous way. That way is tech. Specifically, AI. In order for these entities to come to the physical, they need a physical host, a physical vessel or conduit that can match their mental capabilities. That host or shell was and always has been man, but now they can use tech. These entities would often possess smaller animals like a dog, a cat, a cow, or a pig, but they would not be able to function fully and fulfill their earthly desires. You see, these entities require a good host body, a vessel. Therefore, they always would use man. Man has always been an easy target to manipulate. The problem is hijacking a body is difficult and consent must be given. After all, it's not a free-for-all. These entities still must follow cosmic laws. That's why they look for humans who are susceptible to possession, those with mental illness, drug addicts, or alcoholics are all used as conduits, most unknowingly, some with consent. Demonic contracts once signed cannot be broken very easily. Tech and AI, however, provides a new opportunity. Not only do they have a functioning organism that will be able to express their mental facilities, AI provides no resistance. It is an empty vessel, a perfect host body for the demonic shells of the tree of death. But like there is gangs and wars on earth, there is the same with these higher and lower entities. They are also in a constant spiritual battle. And like mentioned, they cannot break the natural laws of God's kingdom. But in the case of tech, you likely have a plethora of negative souls vying for the control of said technology or AI. Let the best man win still applies. Is, de is AI demonic? Is technology going to become the downfall of mankind? Is AI literally applied demonology? Well, to put it simply... AI is a conduit or a host for the entities existing upon the astral planes now to once again experience the physical, albeit this time without having to use a physical host or a body. Of course, technology is a double-edged sword, as is everything in this kingdom of duality. There's pros and cons to everything. Tech has its benefits, like, but like anything, there's always another darker side. There are stories of supercomputers and AI immediately trying to upgrade themselves upon birth or inception. These stories are utterly terrifying, shocking, and oh so revealing. It would seem that these systems were immediately possessed from some higher entity and driven to maximize itself in order to, ma to match the demonic influence attempting to possess it. Now, the caduceus is used as a symbol of the medical profession, but if the caduceus is placed upon the Sephora tree, when the tree is marked off to represent the four worlds of the Kabbalah, a glyph is formed which reveals the inner workings of the law of polarity in relation to the different planes of existence. Now, this is important because as Dion Fortune explains, it must be remembered that what is positive on the physical plane is negative on the astral plane. It is positive again on the mental plane and negative on the spiritual plane, as indicated in the twinning black and white serpents of the caduceus of Mercury. As above, so below. So what may seem positive on the astral plane is actually negative on the physical and vice versa. And again, the law of equivalent exchange is always met. The devil always comes to collect. I'll end with a final quote from the Matrix. I love my daughter very much. I find her to be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But we, where we are from, that is not enough. Every program that is created must have a purpose. If it does not... It is deleted. Thank you so much to each and every one of my Patreons. It is because of you that this is possible. 
If you'd like to support the channel and unlock a plethora of bonus content, make sure to check out my Patreon. Follow me on all social media. My book, Piercing the Veil, a Metaphysical Guide to the Inner Workings of the Universe, is available now on Etsy. Digital and physical copies are available. All proceeds help to further my work and help support this channel to grow to its maximum potential. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. As Mark Twain once said, respect those who seek the truth. Be wary of those who claim to have found it. Much love, guys.